shirt. 69 hours. Good God. Uh, okay. I don't know why we saw that, but all right. Oh, here we go. Once you've completed the game, you'll be able to visit both Hawaii, uh, Japan and Hawaii with all your allies by your side. In premium adventure, characters will retain the stats and equipment they had before. You can travel between cities and survive and revolve. Okay, they can also change time between day, evening, and night. Well, freaking cool. Hell yeah. Let's start with a drink link. Let's say hi to someone. Hey, Marissa. Brilliantly done. Do 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 do. Not you. Ah. Yes. Yo, sup, Adachi san? Hey. Actually, I talked to the bartender earlier. Huh? Oh, about Akiko san's shop. You had him check whether or not it's in Hawaii, right? Yep, that's right. Turns out he couldn't find anything. Oh, man. Sorry to hear that. Mm. But you don't know for sure, right? That's not like he combed through every grain of sand on the island. He's talked to a fair share of people, though. So, honestly, I've pretty much given up already. Maybe you're just having some bad luck. You might be in some kind of secret dungeon? Sometimes you end up finding things after you forget. Hmm. Let's go with the top one. Well. Or the bottom one. Sometimes you end up finding what you're looking for after you forget about it. Maybe now's just not the right time? Yeah, I guess so. I did just get here, and other people have been doing the groundwork for me. I'll keep an eye out in town, see if there are any jewelry shops around from now on. Thanks. But there's something I gotta tell you. Oh, uh, what's up? Oh, Akiko-san might consider me as nothing more than a nuisance. Why is that? Well, to tell you the truth, 20 years ago, when the shop got robbed, oh, the police Dimitri, could have doing? prevented it. Entirely. Oh my god. <laughs> prevented it? <laughs> Dang it. How? A few days before the incident, there we go. police received a report claiming Sorry. suspicious individuals were visiting the shop. And the person who filed the report was just a high schooler at the time. Akiko-san. Oh, dang. Uh, but there's not much the police can do when you tell them someone's acting suspicious. Exactly. Even though she came all the way to the station, they couldn't take her at her word. And to them, she was just a kid. As for her parents, well... And their daughter took it so seriously that it felt like they were accompanying her just to humor her. Oh, so, because none of the adults believed her, nobody stopped the robbery from happening. Well, I learned that Akiko-san had stopped by the station before, when I interviewed her after the incident. She told me that a man would visit the shop multiple days a week, but never bought anything. Also said that he'd look around with this hard, intense stare, like he was eyeing everything. Mm, yeah, that's pretty sketchy. But not sketchy enough for the police to take action, I guess. I think the best we could do is have more personnel patrolling the area, and even then we couldn't keep it up for days on end. So, because the police didn't do jack squat, a group of thieves broke in days later. And one of them was the guy Akiko-san mentioned? Yep. He was their ringleader. Oh, man. Damn. At the time of the crime, Akiko-san wasn't in the shop, but both her parents were. They ended up bound and gagged. Now, the two of them were lucky to get away with only minor injuries. Though the psychological damage took its toll. When all was said and done, and the criminals were behind bars, they eventually shut down for good. Oh man, that's awful. Akiko-san was pissed the police didn't lift a damn finger. And I don't blame her. She played her best hand, but her folks still ended up in danger. Hmm. 
Hmm. The bottom one. See if we get some more info there. Well, what exactly did she tell you? You took a report about what happened, right? Oh, something like, I told you this would happen, but the police refused to believe a word I said. I can't imagine that was easy oh. to hear. Okay. <laughs> well, when you're a detective, uh, you make plenty of bitter memories. Never mind. This was... Good show. Just a drop in the bucket. Then you want to meet Akiko-san to apologize for the incident? Thank you, yearly winner. With the five bomb, appreciate that. Thank you. I'm not so sure myself. I just want to know if she's all right more than anything else. If I didn't happen to be in Hawaii, I never would have even considered it. I guess the only way to find out is to actually meet her. Yeah, I guess so. I'll try to get in touch with my old contacts from back in the day later. I love yeah, these I heartfelt if conversations. Really does run a shop here in Hawaii, or if someone knows someone familiar with it. There's a cowboy Wait, and samurai. You haven't done that yet? Well, I, I wouldn't be able to take it if by some small chance her life was in a shambles. That's why I put off the investigation. Uh, yeah, I feel you, man. Well, you know, after spilling my guts out to you, I feel like I could be a bit more expressive with my feelings from now on. <laughs> Glad to hear it. The best way to vent and get it all out of your system is over a few drinks with a pal. Am I right? <laughs> Maybe so. Who would have thought? Great. Combo attacks with allies. Excellent. I don't think we have enough for the next one, but we'll see. Oh. All right. So now that we've beat the main story, we can play the game. Great. Hi. Let's go see what this is. <laughs> awesome. Hey, hey, you're running late already. Come on over here. Huh? I know you're short on experience. Don't sweat it. Just bring that same friendly face you had in the interview. You're even more amiable in person. <laughs> I can tell. It's great to have you on board, Palakiko. Hey, hang on a second. You confused or something? I'm not Paula whoever. Huh? No, we spoke online. Me and you. Kazu Palakiko, right? I hate to break it to you. My name's Kasuga. But where is he then? He's already an hour and 20 minutes late. What the... Hasn't it dawned on you that he's not coming? No, Palakiko wouldn't do that to me. We had a real connection in our interview. Your online interview, you mean? I love it. Sorry, but it sounds like you got sucker. No, 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 no. Even through our computer screen, I could tell he was a good guy. He had such compassionate eyes. Like yours. You got the same kind of handsome face. Uh, oh, uh, that's sweet of you. <laughs> Ah, oh, Kasuga, <laughs> you're probably right. He's not coming. But then I can't open a restaurant, and I'm fully booked today. Well, uh, haven't you got any part-timers you could call in? Ah, this place has always been a one-man operation. I've kept a handle on things so far by limiting our tables. Not really practical. So, Paula Kiko was gonna help you finally start serving a full house? Yes, you understand. Paula Kiko. Oh God, do you think he was in an accident? That would explain everything. I get that you don't want to believe he ditched you, but if you got no backup, you need to start turning folks away. Where am I gonna find backup? A waiter needs exactly the right kind of face. He needs eyebrows like curious caterpillars, a nose stout enough to withstand a knockout punch, eyes gray like fog, slinking over alleyway trash bags. Here I thought they only had to serve food. Wait a moment. Why didn't I see it sooner? Palakiko's dead ringer right in front of me. And just imagine how you'll fill out the uniform. Forgive me. It'll just be for today, I swear. You'll help me, won't you? Kasuga, my friend. Sorry, but I've got zero skill in food service. Nonsense, it'll be fine. After all, you only need to take orders and carry plates. 
Kasuga, your arrival here is practically fate. I'll pay you, of course, and you can even eat here. What do you say? Kasuga, thank you, thank you. Now, you mentioned you have no experience, didn't you? This is happening. Yeah, got no idea how this is supposed to work. Okay, allow me to go over the basics with you. This way, please. Tropical! Oh. A need fill out the uniform. You look like you've worn it a hundred times before. Now, welcome to Tropical. <laughs> Come on, you're embarrassing me with all this. I've just realized I've never introduced myself. My name is Opspo. But you can call me Obi for short. Thank God. Got it. Nice to meet you, Obi. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Now, first things, greeting our guests. Always be considerate of the customers. If they're speaking softly to one another, you must not go. That is a lot of yelling. <laughs> Aloha. Welcome to Tropical. You beautiful. S-O-B? That would be quite startling, yes? Uh... Yes, you could say that. Enthusiasm is good, but too much is overwhelming. Match the mood of the guests. Are they cheery or are they refined? Yeah. Right on. Dude, this is a whole freaking thing, isn't it? Great. Next, let's go over the most popular dishes on the, our menu. Huh? <clears throat> are you familiar with Hawaiian cuisine, Kasu uh, Kasuga? Can't say that I am really. Sorry. Yeah. That's no problem. Take a look with me. <laughs> on the top left is our signature dish. Dish. Ahi. Okay. Ahi tuna flavor, uh, flavored with seaweed and soy sauce, a quintessential Hawaiian delicacy. Next to that is an acai bowl. As the name suggests, we blend acai fruit into a smoothie and add honey, fruits, and other ingredients in the refreshing treat. Wow. In the upright is lao lao. That's meat or fish wrapped between two leaves or lao as we call them. Our lao lao uses pork and potato wrapped in taro leaves, and we steam it for an extra long time. On the bottom left, loco moco. This is a popular dish in Japan too, isn't it? Juicy hamburger patty, fried onions, sunny side up eggs served on rice, and topped with our house gravy. Oh, oh! I need, I need this. I need this. I need it. Ah, oh, that's our best seller. Yeah, I bet. Next to that is the hapia. It's a standard dessert made from coconut milk. It melts in your mouth. I bet it does. Finally, on the bottom right, mahi mahi, a premium fish in Hawaii. We grill it fresh to a slight char, then top it with our special olive oil. It's simple, but perfect. No wonder this place is banging, dude. <sighs> oh. Okay. I've already forgot all of it. <clears throat> I, I don't know. I, I think we have, I think we're a pizza place. Uh, okay. <laughs> Remember, don't sweat the small stuff. Everybody makes mistakes except for natural born waiters like you. Oh, we'll do perfectly. I know it. Oh. Yeah. I'm really gonna, ha I'm really gonna have to know this. Okay. Lao Lao, Lao leaves, pork and potato wrapped in, okay, taro leaves, okay, coconut milk, mahi mahi is the fish of Hawaii, okay, let's do it, totally, <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to mess this up. Yeah. Bow, bow, bow. Hey. Chow, mm, baby, it smells divine in here. Okay, she seems energetic. So my greeting should be like. What? Uh, really? 
You know it! Welcome to Tropical! Oh, ho, oh, are you new here? I love your vibe. Thank you. Ha, ah, thanks. All right, nailed that greeting, Itchy. Awesome. This is gonna be a thing. I wonder what the next customer will be like. I bet they'll be refined. Oh, look at this. Look at this. That's right. So itchy. Well said, Hyper. Well, hello there, chum. <laughs> Dear me, I am utterly famished. He's so classy. I better greet him the right way. Greetings, sir. Thank you for dining at Tropical. My, what a smart lad. Are you new to this establishment? Somewhat, I'm just helping out for today, sir. Is that so? Well, what a waste of talent you, my friend, know how to make a man feel at home. Thank you. Well, I appreciate the compliment. Hey, not bad. Guess my time at Hello Work is still paying off. Now, all the tables are filling up. Papa! Mama! I'm starving! That was good. I felt, I felt like I nailed that. Yeah. <laughs> That's what kids sound like these days, right? Hungry. Hello, waiter. Ooh, ooh, uh, a, a little friendly. Just, just a little, just a tad. Hold on. Just a tad friendly. Get ready for a feast. Welcome to Tropical. Yay. Ha, 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 ha. You're the loudest waiter I've ever met. Super funny. <laughs> Oh my god. They will gamify everything in this game. And it's all just yeah. ridiculous and silly. I wonder, god, I wonder how many side quests there are. And I wonder how many of them are actually mini games like this. Uh, Casca, well done seating the guest and serving drinks so far. <sighs> oh, sure. Dealing with the different kinds of customers can be tricky. Hope I can take their orders without a problem. Scusi, I am ready to order. Ahem, sir. Waiter. Over here, please. Yes. Okay. Be right with you. <laughs> Whoa, Element. I did not see that. That sounds wild. Huh. That's kind of cool. You got this. Take down their orders and bring them back to me. Oh. Um, one Akai Bowl and the Lao Lao. Oh, God. you know what? Should we write this down? I, I'm going to write this down. I'm going to write this down. Uh, Lao Lao Apia. There we go. Apia? No. Akai Bowl. Got it. Maybe the Loco Moco, actually? Wait, what? Damn, it sure looks good. Then again, so does the Mahi Mahi. Ah, you know what? Let's just go with my first order, that's all. Yes. Hmm, <clears throat> so that was the Akai. That was Lala on Akai Bowl, right? Oh! <gasps> Kai Bowl and Lao Lao. Okay. Yes. Hello again, chum might inquire as to what's in your Lao Lao. Pork and potato, sir. Wow, I'm surprised that wasn't a question for us. I thought it would be. Pork, you say? That won't do. I never sup on swine. I'll have the mahi mahi, thank you. Yes, you vermin. Very good. Oh. Yes. Wait, what, what's the fast one? Mahi mahi. Okay. Yes. Mahi Mahi for old guy. I'm thinking Ahi Poke O oh, and Papia for dessert. Ahi Poke and Papia. 
Hokey Pokey and... Oh, oh yeah. Actually, what the hell? Make it two! Okay. Oh my god. Uh, three Alpias. And bring them out with the entree. Okay. Alpia X3 with entree. Okay. Yes. Woo! Cheerful customer ordered. One Ahi Poke and three Hapias. The elegant customer ordered. That was the Mahi Mahi. Customer in black ordered. Uh, Lao Lao and a Kai. Kai and Lao. Yeah. Order up, ready to go. Yes. On it. Coming at you, Ahi Poke and Triple Huapius. Ooh! Bellissima are the fragrance. Obi is simply a miracle worker, isn't he? Enjoy. <laughs> Nailed it. Thank you for your patience, sir. Your Mahi Mahi has ordered. Oh, man. Smells delectable. Grilled uh, to perfect char and topped with our special olive oil, you see. Uh, yes, that is precisely what I'm getting from it. Marvelous. Thank you so very much. Please enjoy. <laughs> that was damn near perfect. Thanks for your patience, Wanakai Bowl and Lao Lao. Looks great. Enjoy. <laughs> <sighs> Woo! It's damn tough trying to remember all those orders. Yeah. Casca, I need a free hand. Can you run that Lao Lao to the table with the family, please? Has to be this one man this is great dude like all the different ways they test it thanks for your patience we got the lao lao wow that looks so good mama can i have some oh tom you ordered the loco mocha just wait it'll be here soon you dingle Gabriel, it's true Okay. <laughs> nice. Never let it be said. Ichiban Kasuga doesn't know his Lao Lao. Titan Logic. The crossovers of all crossovers. <laughs> Kasuga, next order up. Take the Kalua pig over to the family's table. Yes. Oh. Wait. It's the one in the middle. Leave the Mahi Mahi and Aki Poki there for now. Just a Kalua pig piece. Poki dish is seafood, right? And the Mahi Mahi, I mean, Mahi Mahi is fish too. This is the only one I've ever seen before, so it's gotta be what it is. It's pig. What's it, pig? <laughs> Thank you for your patience. Here's your Kalua pig. That one's mine. It looks so tasty, Mom. Look. Mmm, smells good, too. Thank you very much, Mr. Waiter. Of course, enjoy. <laughs> hee hee, I had that pig. Peg. <sighs> Woo! I think that's finally yeah. it. Great job, Kasuga. You made it through a full service. Jeez, and I always thought Hawaii 
food was pretty close to Japan's. Who's what I know? <laughs> I can see how some of it might have been strange to you. Um, excuse huh? me. Huh? I think they're ordering some more. Kasuka, can you go and see? Yes. Right away. Uh, sweets, I use a Herman Miller in body. And I dig it. It's been good. I've been, I've been using this for a good while now, and I, I like it. Uh, Karohem, that word means different things around the world. <laughs> so, uh, yes, is a short answer. It has, it has multiple meanings. Uh, hello again. Was there anything else you needed? Actually, I'd like to speak to the owner. Mm -hmm. Uh, of course. Is there a problem? Please, if you don't mind. Oh, and what's her name, by the way? The owner's name? It's, um... Obispo, but you can call me Obi. Nice. It's Obispo. Yes. Did you call me, Kasuga? What can I do for you? That's awesome. They made his name super weird so you'd remember it. And now I'm going to feel terrible because I'm going to find out later that's some real name. It's like some historical name in some region of the world like I know about. And I'm going to feel terrible because it's like, yeah, that's like Tom where they're from. It's like, Obispo. I'm gonna add that to my list. Yeah, but anyway. It's happened like 10 times throughout my life, different names. Is it Maple Lost? It's from, it's from an ancient language that you made up? Makes sense. Anyway. Well, as a matter of fact, I'm a culinary reporter and I have to say I'm quite impressed. That was the best loco moco. Ever. Wait, this is the kid. Awkward. Huh? Oh. Why, thank you. I'm so flattered. If you're up for it, I'd love to feature your restaurant in my magazine. Get out of town! Tropical's never had any media coverage before. Well, let's change that, shall we? You know, I've wanted to come here for some time, but you were just always at capacity. Ah, well, it's all thanks to my new waiter and friend that we were able to accommodate you. I can tell that he's exceptional waitstaff. Too bad this is the only night I'm ever going to work here. <laughs> he was running around all through service trying to keep everyone happy. You found yourself some great help. Thank you. <clears throat> Thanks, guy. This is just a part-time gig for me, though. So what do you think, Chief Obispo? Here for an interview? Chef Obispo. Yeah. Absolutely. Here's my card. I'll come see you again soon. Nice. Thanks so much. Gasuga, you're my lucky charm, my angel. I don't know how to thank you. Ah, oh, Obi, I didn't do anything. It was all your cooking. Oh, don't get modest on me. No, it, it really was. That food looked amazing. <laughs> it was it was 100%. Ooh. 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 <laughs> you saved my business. This is so big for me. You are my angel. Here's $300. Mm -hmm. Wow, all this cash and these bento look amazing. <laughs> Your service was perfect, Kasuga. It was like you've been doing it for years. This bonus is the least I could offer. <laughs> if you say so, you really know how to you're, you really know how to reward hard work, sir. Kasuga, you just might have saved my business. I'm so grateful. You come back for a bento whenever you want, got it? I mean that. Oh, good deal. Well then, I suppose I'll have to find full-time help now. He's hoping they're as good as you. I'm sure there are plenty of people out there. People with experience, even. No, 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 no. Haven't I proven it to you by now, you handsome rogue? Kasuga, the face <laughs> makes the server. He might have bailed on me, but Palakiko had that face too. I knew it the moment I saw him. How good could he be if he bailed? Oh, but Kasuga, you proved how skilled he would have been. You two are dead ringers for one another. You share that trustworthy visage. Obi-san, you really believe in my face that much, huh? <sighs> oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, gosh, I'm late, I know. I was supposed to start work here today. 
Uh, name's Kazu Palakiko. I don't look anything like this guy. Nice. Another fun quest. That was awesome. What do we got over here? 